All right, you can just put it on the desk, please. Thank you. All right, so complex numbers. The main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, we want to know about complex numbers is complex numbers come in the form of A plus BI. All right, where A and B are real numbers. Okay, so A and B are going to be your real numbers. Then I, we remember, we represent as our imaginary number, right? When we tried to take the square root of negative 1, we represented that with I. So I is going to be our imaginary number. Now, um, when dealing with complex numbers, complex numbers can be um, kind of real or imaginary. What they have is they have a real part, which is A, and then the imaginary part. So complex numbers are actually a combination of real numbers, which we are used to, and imaginary numbers, which is going to be in the form of bi, where b would be like your coefficient of your um, imaginary number. Does that make sense? All right. So this important thing for you guys to understand, Sadiq, when dealing with complex numbers, there's a couple things we want to know. Here's one thing, the equa um, equality of a plus bi is equal to C plus DI. So first thing, one th important thing about complex numbers is the equality of complex numbers. If you have one complex number equal to another complex number, therefore you must have A equal to C and B equal to D. If two complex numbers are equal to each other, a has to equal to C. That means your real has to equal to your real. And your coefficient of your imaginary part has to equal the coefficient of the other imaginary part. Is I. All right? So I equals I. Huh? So I equals I. I always equals I. Yes. All right, so let's go through an example. Um, yes. Yes. 